She had more than 386,000 jobs. Cut more than 1,200 jobs. Announcing 12,000 job cuts. We just laid off nearly 700 employees. Where are laid off tech employees going? Let me tell you, nowhere. They're just staying home and they keep applying to thousands of jobs, competing with offshore talent that can actually work for a third of the money. CNBC's video is good, but the content for me it felt a little bit dry because they really like to focus only on how we got here instead of what is actually happening right now to hundreds of thousands of people. It's my dream to work for Microsoft, or it's my dream to work for AWS, but at the end of the day, they can get rid of you like that. This is the reality that many faced and now people are incredibly disillusioned by tech and its future growth. They stopped caring about tech, there's literally no excitement anymore, and they got sold a dream and it all turned out to be fake. Why are big tech companies and other industries laying off tens of thousands of workers at a time when the US economy looks strong on paper? Well, this is a good one and I said it in another video as well. Companies fire so many people to boost their profits and reduce costs. And this works on two fronts because now they got a lot of people that are just desperate for work and they can just simply rehire for similar positions either offshore, which many have been doing anyway and they get eight workers for example in India for the same price of a US engineer or onshore but with a 30% discount on salary. In another video I talk about how companies are testing how low can they go on salary and benefits and still get applicants and they take their time in interviews where the common practice nowadays is to have five or six rounds of interviews. Thousands and thousands of applications for maybe like 10 or 15 spots. There's hundreds or thousands of people applying for the same role. And you have to meet everybody in the company and all all of them need to like you. So laid off employees are interviewing more than ever and they're not going anywhere. A lot of the big companies decided to get lean and efficient, start to see the incredible leverage of what these tech platforms really have, which is they didn't need those people. Look at this one. About six months ago, they fired 80% of the developers at my company. From the business side, everything seems to be going well and the ship is still sailing. Of course, nobody has written a single test in the last six months, made any framework or language upgrades, made any non-trivial security updates. Gotta admit though that from a business perspective, the savings you can get from firing all of your developers are pretty amazing. We get it that CEOs are simping on Musk and they're trying to do the same thing like he did at Twitter, but they're doing this without the knowledge of where they could cut from or whether it's safe to lay off certain business areas. What they're doing right now is just our blanket layoffs to actually go with the current trend and signal that you're doing what the market likes. That should get them better bonuses and promotions for middle management layers. The tech-heavy Nasdaq climbed 43% in 2023. These super-rich CEOs saw their wealth grow by 48%. So far this is working. I'm gonna get back to this in a bit, but they still haven't said why they did all the layoffs or what laid off people are doing. Instead, they tell us how the demand for generative AI roles is just going through the roof and how we don't have enough professionals to fill that demand. Again, it's the employee's fault, guys, because they don't have the skills, the in-demand skills that are going to be the savior of this economy. So there's uh, about a 500% increase in the number of jobs that mention generative AI. Many companies added generative AI in their job descriptions as they don't want to be seen as not being forward-looking, but they have no idea what they would use generative AI for. Maybe a chatbot, that would surely boost productivity, no? There's about a 6,000% increase in the demand for job seekers for these jobs. And of course, job seekers saw that AI is the new thing and they started selling themselves as AI engineers and AI product managers. I interviewed about 40 or 50 people that were trying to get an AI job and their literal knowledge of AI was to tell me about the latest AI news and how various LLMs did against benchmarks, but literally just shallow knowledge. Can you really hire these people? Every cafe, every restaurant, every conversation that you overhear in the street, half of the time it's ChatGPT, it's AI, it's the latest company that is being funded. It this is exactly where some of these laid off employees went. They jumped on this AI hype train, but that's kind of over anyway, because where are the profits, guys? How many companies have made money with AI? Come on, tell me. Except for NVIDIA, right? Except for OpenAI and Microsoft. Only a couple of small companies did it and they did it by selling OpenAI API requests. I have a video on how the AI hype died down. Check it out as that's something that very few people are talking about. What they've been doing over the past year is finding places within the organization that they can trim, taking managers out, and then engineers who are like skilled for a previous generation of technology. They're also leaving to make room for people who are more skilled for artificial intelligence. Again, they're making the case that somehow newer generations are more prepared for AI. 
out with the old, in with the new. But the reality shows that the newer generations are struggling to find jobs because all companies want seniors but pay them junior salaries. Completely disconnected from reality, especially when you don't know how LLMs work and what their limitations are. Every LLM technique is about fine tuning and prompt engineering if you really break it down. Nothing too complex and the vast majority of people can easily do this type of grunt work. But the number of people that you need to do this is certainly not hundreds of thousands, but somehow AI skills will save us from unemployment. AI skills, guys. AI skills as companies are referring to them now as prompt engineering and some fine tuning. These will be low paid jobs that the vast majority of people can do. There's nothing special about them because you don't really train those models. You're just using them and fixing their mistakes, pretty much just like a mechanical Turk worker. And who wants that? Tech companies that conducted widespread layoffs have seen a bounce in their stocks. This is exactly what's wrong with everything. Revenue is drying up because people have stopped spending. So how do you prop up stock price now? Cut costs. Next year's earnings are going to be interesting because they have no more costs to cut. Now they're going to have to answer to investors why their companies are not doing well. So for now, it's happy days, guys, for companies. They look good to investors that they're cutting costs and they're also signaling that they're getting more efficient. They also invest in AI, so the new chatbot that they created will make up for all that lost revenue. And next year, well, next year we're going to deal with that later. I just tell everyone, kind of put your sales cap on, get a tool where you can find emails and you kind of have to go out there and kind of find your own job. Poor suckers that were fired just have to pull themselves by their bootstraps and wait until we need them again. So again, where are the laid off tech employees going? They're just waiting, right? They're just waiting to become a part of the family again, okay? But until then, they can just get ghosted, they can get taken advantage of, and they can just grind lead code hoping to get a chance to get hired as a software engineer or to be an AI mechanical Turk. A booming artificial intelligence market is giving the industry a renewed sense of optimism. Again with the AI, I mean, they show a couple of guys that were laid off and now they created their startups. This is great, but are they successful? How are they making money? Raising money feels like it's a business in itself nowadays and the hundreds of thousands of people that were laid off, they're not all raising money. For sure, all of us need to think about starting a business and becoming more entrepreneurish, but still, it's a long journey to get there and people need to pay their bills. Four in 10 companies posted big job listings in 2024 and three in 10 are currently advertising for a role that isn't real. All that generative AI demand, is it really real? We can't really know for sure because nothing is transparent nowadays and all we know is that people are getting fired and they are getting replaced with offshore workers. We also know that most of the time you get ghosted by recruiters and companies and you also have to go through hundreds of interview rounds. I've already applied to probably about 165 jobs and I've had only two interviews and both were the what first interviews after the recruiter and they ghosted me. And there's no end in sight, guys. It looks like this is gonna continue for some time. Tell me, where are all the laid off employees going? Were you laid off or do you know anybody that did get laid off? Let me know down in the comments, what are they doing? Overall, you know, the CNBC video was good. I really enjoyed it, but I felt like they didn't really answer the main question. So it's up to us to answer. Where did they go? I really hope that you enjoyed my comments and if you want me to talk more about this, let me know down in the comments. Check out getthatbadge.com if you're looking to get cloud certified and get a job as a cloud engineer. And if you like what you heard, please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.